We're here again. I know. I think this might be the last one in this series, but if there's other parts you'd like to see or things you'd like me to focus on, leave something in the comments below. Anyway, here we are with another art room organization video. And this way, this time we're just gonna talk about my workspace. Well, or spaces. There's a couple of them in the room. Hang on, I'm gonna turn Let's the talk camera. about on. this one first, cause it's clean to be honest with you. <laughs> so this is my sewing station and um, we put some of this Ikea pegboard up on the wall and that's turned out to be a great way for me to store, and sorry about the bright white, a great way for me to store all my thread and a few notions um, to make them handy and easy. And they are, yes, of course, color coded. Um, this is a desk and drawer unit from Ikea. I'll try to link what I can in the description below. Um, and I have all my tools and most of my notions in those drawers. This setup works really well for me. I usually, I do own a serger besides this machine and it usually is sitting over here, but right now it's being cleaned and serviced. Um, in the windowsill, I do utilize this space for some randomness. These two little wire shelves here are from Daiso and these big giant jars of salad dressing um, are filled with um, ribbons and trims. These are actually from my grandmother's estate and um, I found them after she passed away. They're super cool. And I filled them with ribbons and trims. And then I've got my pins on top and some random notions and some reference books. This actually whole system works really well for me. I do have a pile of sewing here, which I need to get to, but I'm waiting for my serger to come back. And that little tiny Janome machine in the back, that's the one I use for paper. This machine was really expensive. I only use it for fabric. This one here, that's just paper. Okay, let's talk about this over here. <laughs> so this wire shelf right here is sort of a mini workstation. This is a resin station. So all my resin supplies and tools are here and my cup spinner is on top. This works really well for me. Again, it's a setup that works really well. Everything's organized on the floor and the bottom. I have my giant bucket of pouring medium, which I need to try to work my way through and some um, eco printing spray bottles of stuff again, which I need to work my way through. Uh, the desk is my husband's area. So when he's working on a project or he's helping me with a project, this is where it goes. He likes to do models and miniatures. And um, so we've put all of that over here on his desk. And I did steal one little corner from my drill press. Oops. <laughs> anyway, he's got his own space over here and he does like that. So I don't know that he want, he's super jazzed about the artwork over his desk, but you know, it is what it is. All right, this next space is my where I paint and work on paintings in the corners in one of the two bay windows in my um, workroom. And um, it contains my easel and the, one of the Ikea carts which has all my rags on it and a uh, cutting board on the top that I use for a painting palette. And right now it's set up with some paints that I need to use on a painting I'm working on. And then there's a table there for my water and stuff. Clean up for you, but I'm not going to. <laughs> um, so this is my main workspace. So the table here is an old office conference table that we've put casters on. I do have two locking ones on one side um, to sort of try to keep it from rolling too much um, when I'm working. This box, there's generally a box under there, which is where I put things that no longer serve me. And at some point that box will be sold or given away um, I think right now the box is probably going to go into the charity auction I'm trying to get together um, to support a friend of mine in the art community whose husband's suffering from cancer um, so and help them with their bills. So I think that's where that's going to go. Um, and then this bin is dirty rags. So that again, that usually is there when I have a rag that's just way too dirty to use and I, it's not like I don't have plenty of clean ones. It goes in there and I grab a fresh one. I have two of these white shelves on either end of the table to store tools and supplies along with um, um, this one here is a drying rack. So you can see here that I've got some art brittle drying on a cookie sheet and there is some stickles embellishments, glitter glue embellishments. Um, and then there's an empty bin on the bottom with which I can use to clean off the table um, when I need to clean off the table to work on something else and the table is just way too cluttery and I don't have time to put things away, which does happen. A few cleaning tools, which I need to sweep the floor, so I'm trying not to show you all the floor. Table top. <laughs> so over here on this side, as I said in a previous video, these are um, some of my tools that I use, main, mainly the coloring tools and glue tools. 
Then we have just, a, this is just my series of randomness that's lived on the table for a while, including a journal page I was working on today. Um, and my water back there. It's just a series of like a phone call to interrupt your filming. Oops. We got some family stuff going on, so I think we got it taken care of now. Anyway, um, extended family at least. So let's get back to the I'm table. Working show. on a project, mixed media project particularly. This is how my table looks. Just a series, like I said, of randomness on the table. Journals in progress. Um, journal covers back there, stuff that's recently coming in the mail. These are some printed dictionary pages, which I'm going to film an upcoming video for. I'm waiting for a couple more parts before I do. Um, I have, of course, my rag and water. Um, quilling, which I want to work on. I know, right? Because I need to start something new. And just a series of binned randomness. Now, the one thing you will notice is that most of these parts are in bins. They're in bins because I can easily, when I need to, say clear off the table because I'm working on a big painting or I need to cut out some fabric. All of these bins can be picked up and put in a bigger bin under the one of the shelves on either end of the table and stacked neatly and stay organized for when I'm done with whatever big project it was that I cleared the table off for and then I can put them back. Things are neat and cleaned and organized, even though it's randomness. Yes. And then this, at the other end, I have watercolor books I'm working on, um, journals and things I'm working on, and tools. And this main workspace works really well for me. Um, when I'm filming, the easel and boom is right there, and that bright, obnoxious thing right there, that's one of my LED lights. Um, that's not always there. It's only there because I've been filming. So that really works really well for me. What does your working space look like? And I don't necessarily want to see it when it's clean. I want you to share uh, pictures of it when it's in progress and when you're working on projects. That's the work table I want to see. So share your ideas and in the comments below or in one of the Facebook groups. My friends have created videos on their workspace. I will share links to their videos in the description below. Down there is also a link tree list of links where you can follow me on social media, find said art Facebook groups I've been talking about, and ways to support the free content here on YouTube and over in Facebook. Um, so check that out. My happy mail address is down there too and a bunch of other stuff. So check it out. Leave a question, comment, or concern below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And above all, go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.